Hey everyone, welcome to a new section of the course. Now we are going to start learning jQuery. jQuery is a JavaScript library or framework that simplifies the language. So with jQuery, we are going to need less lines of code than we would need if we were using pure JavaScript. So let's see a basic example of changing the background of all elements that have a given class. So here is the example with vanilla JavaScript. By the way, vanilla JavaScript is the name used for pure JavaScript with no libraries, which is exactly what we've been doing up to this point in the course. So you may be familiar with this structure. So first we select all elements with this class, then we're going to have an array, then we need to start a loop to run through all elements of this array and then set the background color for each of them. So as you can see, we need many lines of code. With jQuery, we just need one line of code. So this is the syntax using jQuery. We select the element, use the CSS method, then we just inform the property and the value we want. With jQuery, we can manipulate the DOM and the CSS of elements. We can track events, create effects, animations, and etc. jQuery runs on all browsers, and you can find thousands of plugins online that are based on jQuery. I'm going to show you some of them. So with those plugins, we can easily create cool stuff like photo galleries, grids, sliders, pop-ups, form validation, and much more. So before we jump into all these great things, let's see how we can install jQuery on our project. So the first thing we need to do is creating a link to the JS file that contains all the code for this library. So for this, we are going to go to this link. And here we need to download one of these versions. We are going to use this compressed production jQuery, which by the time I'm recording this video is on version 3.5.1. So this is the one we are going to need. If you click this, you will see that you have all the code for this library. It seems like crazy stuff, but this is just because this is a minified JavaScript file. As you can see, it's min.min.js. So there are no spaces or line breaks. This is why it looks like this. But if it wasn't a minified file, let's check it out. So this is the uncompressed version. As you can see, this looks much more like the code we've been writing so far. So if you want, you can just copy all this code, not this, but the compressed version that's going to load much faster. So you can copy all this and create a JavaScript file with the same name. But I think this is a little bit more complicated. I think the easiest way to get started with jQuery is using a CDN link. So if you go down here, you will see that jQuery or this JS file that we need is hosted online on a few places. So let's use Google's CDN. If you click here, then we go to this link. So as you can see, Google is already hosting the JS file we need. So we don't need to have it inside our project. We can just get it from the internet. So let's copy this script. So control C and going back to our code. Let's go to the HTML file we are at at the moment. And let's remember that we place the script tags at the end of our body element. So here's the link for the JS file, the scripts.js file. But with jQuery is a bit different. The best place to include the script tag is not here. It is actually at the top of the page inside the head element. So the first thing inside the head element is going to be the link to jQuery. 
And the reason for this is that all those plugins I've mentioned are going to need jQuery. So we need to make sure that this is going to be loaded before any other script in our page. So by placing it here, we avoid such problem. So that's all we need to get started with jQuery. As I've said, if you want, you can just go here to your JS folder. You can start a new file and copy all that code. So you have the file on your computer. This is actually safer when you're working on other projects. It's always good to have the jQuery file inside your project. But here for this course, it's not necessary. This link is reliable. This is never going to be down or removed. So we can just use this for our examples. So by doing this, we already have jQuery installed and we can start using it. Now, don't forget to save the file and you don't have to worry about the other HTML files of this section. If you go inside them, you will see that I already included the link to jQuery. I just left it undone on the first one so we could do it together. So now we have jQuery being loaded on all our pages for this section so we can start working with jQuery. So let's go back to the browser. Let's go back to our course material. And in the first lesson, we are going to start learning the jQuery syntax. I'll see you then.